When the things like beech trees, rimu trees and kahikatea trees have heavy fruitings, which happens every three or four years, the rat numbers go through the roof and that's just simply because the rats eat the seed and it becomes many, many more rats and it's during those sort of plagues of rats fuelled by those um, heavy seeding events that most of the damage by rats is done. So when there's lots of them, they're climbing all their trees and they're killing the nestlings and eating the eggs and killing the adult birds on the nest. So this happens once every three or four years in most of our forests and it has devastating impacts on quite a few species. And of course the other thing that goes on is at the same time you get large numbers of rats, you get large numbers of mice responding in exactly the same way and then you get large numbers of stoats which are preying upon those mice. So in those years when, when you get lots of seed and you get lots of mice and you get lots of rats and you get lots of stoats, our birds take an absolute hammering. We've we have been looking for ways to kill rats cost effectively in big areas of country for ages and we've been trying it with traps and bait, poison and bait stations but they're prohibitively expensive. But now being able to use 10 native in the air means that we can kill rats over large areas of the back country that just not doable any other way.